F-Expansion's Strobe 2 synthesizer is a perfect synth to work with the Roly Seaboard because it is an MPE synthesizer. It was designed to work with the multi-channel MIDI data that this controller sends. Now with this synthesizer, it, it's also designed to work with a variety of other controllers, so we need to first put it in MPE mode. And you'll find that in the settings under Enable MIDI MPE. Once it's in that mode, it will be able to work with the multi-channel data that's being sent from this controller, and it'll give you the ability to have polyphonic expression, which we really, really love. That's the that's kind of the beauty of this device. Now, often what I would do in a practical situation is start from a preset that's almost perfect, and then add the expression necessary to make it just right for your song and make it to respond the way you need to. But in this video, I'm going to start from a default blank preset and just build a patch from scratch so we can really hone in on exactly what each one of these modulators does and a really good way to use them. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out all the modulation slots. You can go to any mod slot or any transmod slot and you can say unassigned, but I have a preset ready with them all empty. Now I'm going to put in my transmod slots the type of the, the modulation sources that correspond to the five dimensions of touch that are sent by the Seaboard Rise. Our first dimension of touch is strike, which translates to the MIDI message of on velocity. We'll find that in our first transmod slot under poly, on velocity plus. Now I really like the uh, strike dimension of touch to control something or some things in the attack portion of my sound. And the, the first thing I'm going to try as I get used to this is going to have on velocity control amp envelope attack time. And I like to do it in a negative direction so that if I strike the key hard, we get a very kind of instant on sound. And if I strike the key gently, the sound fades in slowly. So I have on velocity selected, the transmod slot selected. If I hover over my attack fader, you'll see the outline of the fader highlights. I can click in that highlight and drag down to assign a negative direction, and I'll go all the way to zero with that. And let's hear what that sounds like. If I strike gently, the sound fades in, and if I strike hard, happens right away. So we get that nice modulation. Now remember, you're going to set the bias point or the point of the fader to the kind of slowest you want the sound to fade in, and you'll set the transmod range all the way down to nothing. That looks like a pretty good setting for this. The next dimension of touch I want to add to this patch is going to be glide. I'll turn the glide fader all the way up on the rise itself, and then I'm going to assign the perf x modulator because we're gliding along the x dimension of the, the key wave surface. And that's going to modulate pitch, most likely. Now the cool thing is you can have it do many other things. Uh, and that's a really fun kind of modulation to have the glide control some other parameter in your synthesizer, but we'll set it to pitch right now. And you know, anything that's MPE uh, enabled uh, is probably going to be using a 48 semitone range. That's a standard for MPE, and the synth is designed for that. That's going to be a good default for yourself. So I'll do the same thing I did with that attack fader. Uh, just a knob here, the outside ring highlights, and I click and drag up till my range is plus 48. Let's try it. I'm going to test my range. I'll play an E, and then I'll glide down to a lower E. And it's the same exact note. So I know that my pitch bend range is set correctly. I could go check in the Rolly dashboard, but I'm sure I would see that it was set to 48 as my pitch bend range. Next, I want to have the uh, perf Y, which is the slide dimension. I'll find that in the same place that we found perf X. And I'll assign that to control filter cutoff. Again, I'm going to set a bias point, which is going to be pretty low for filter cutoff. Hover around the knob and then turn, then drag it up to have a quite wide range. And we'll test that. And we hear that it's working quite well for us. Uh, the next dimension of touch is going to be press, and that's actually going to be called perf2 plus in here in the transmod. And I really like that to control amplitude, so let's try that out. I'll take my amplitude all the way down, and I'll drag up to assign a modulation range. Don't go too far, you'll be surprised at how loud it'll get if you go too far with that. It's working well. And the last dimension of touch we have is one I haven't really used a lot in previous videos, but it really is a wonderful dimension, and that's lift, which is measuring how fast you pull your hand from the key wave, and that translates to the MIDI message off velocity. So we'll go to poly, off velocity plus. 
I'll generally assign lift to something at the end of the note, which makes total sense because that data is sent when you lift your hand from a key wave. Uh, one parameter that I find really good with this is the release time of the amplitude envelope, and we'll set it the same way we did with on velocity and attack. And let's hear this. If I release quickly, it just stops. If I release slowly, it kind of fades away, right? And so now we have a, a basic patch. It's going to have nice polyphony. If all that out of tuneness, if it gets a little too out of tune for you, you might want to reduce your glide expression touch fader there. That's a technique I've been trying to master, which is playing an arpeggio while kind of creeping up the key waves. It kind of gets brighter as it goes on, really nice for introductions. And then the sound is a, is a little, little small now, but with some reverb and delay, I think it'll be quite nice. Let's go over to the effects, add in a reverb, and we'll make this a nice long one by increasing the decay time, and then we'll also increase the mix, so it's gonna be pretty full. And maybe a little bit of delay as well.